Hello again, Stingrays. Hello again, Stingrays. And parents? And parents. Let's take a look at irregular shaped polygons today. Let's take a look at regular shaped polygons in today. We're going to find their areas. I don't know. We're going to find their areas. And their perimeter. And their perimeter. By decomposing these shapes. By decomposing their shapes. And nothing's going to die, not that kind of decom decomposing. And nothing's going to die, not that kind of decomposing. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Hello, Stingray boys and girls. Okay, today we're going to take a look at finding the area of irregular shaped polygons. And here we have one. Um, this geometric figure is actually composed of several different geometric figures put together. So the first step is decompose the polygon. That means break the polygon or this geometric shape down into its more basic shapes, shapes like triangles, rectangles, and circles, uh, and parallelograms, etc. Uh, those shapes we know how to find the area of. And when we take a look at this here, they give us some information um, too. But first, I think we can all identify here we have a triangle, okay? It forms the outside. And with this triangle too, it tells us this little. Um, little um, dash here and dash here says that these two sides are congruent, they're equal, they're the same length. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what that length is. Um, over here we have, if we, if we drop a perpendicular line straight down here, we can see that we have a half circle, and in the center of course we have a rectangle. Now let's see, so we have, we have a triangle, a rectangle, and half of a circle. Well, what are we going to do with that? Well, uh, first of all, this circle is very helpful because it tells us here that the radius is 3. If the radius is 3, okay, we know that the radius is equal to half the diameter. Okay? Or in other words, the diameter is twice the radius. So guess what? That means that the diameter is 6, therefore we have a rectangle here with the base of 12 and the height of 6. And this triangle over here, okay, we can transfer this, this length over here. The height of the triangle is 6, and the base is also the same. So we have a right triangle with the dimensions that are 6 by 6. Okay, let's take a look at our next step. Let's get this out of here. So we got a triangle. We, we decompose the polygon. We have a triangle, a rectangle, and half a circle. Step 2. Step two, we need to find the areas. Okay? Find the areas. Okay, we need to use our formulas here, and I'm going to break out our calculator. I don't want to make any errors here. First of all, we have a triangle here, and the triangle, our area for triangle is base times height divided by two. Well, the base is six, the height is six, so six times six is 36. Half of 36 is 18. So I'm just going to put 18 right in there. And then we have a rectangle here in the center. It has a base of 12 and the height of 6. So base times height is the area of that rectangle. And 6 times 12 is 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 2 is, is um, 12. 12 and, and 60 is 72. And, and by the way, too, this would be 72 units squared. We don't, didn't, didn't specify what those units are, but when we talk about area, we always have a, a square. It's how many squares. Last but not least, and this is what the calculator here is for, okay, we have the area of this circle. We know the formula is pi r squared. Pi is approximately 3.14. The radius is 3, and if we square the radius... 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, so let's punch that in the calculator. 3.14 times 9 is equal to 28.26. Now, one thing though, this circle here, okay, we don't want to know the, the area of the whole circle. We just want to know the area of the half circle that's sticking out here, that's stuck onto the rectangle. So, since we have half a circle, we need to take this area and divide it by 2. And when we divide this by 2, we are going to get 14 point 13, or 14 and 13 hundredths. 
So there we have it. We have the area of the triangle, of the rectangle, and of the circle. Let's go to our next and last step. We need to total the areas. Okay, the total area. So the area of our, of our triangle was 18. Okay, units squared. Okay, the area of our rectangle was 72 units squared. And the area of our half circle that was stuck out here on the end was, or is, 14 and 13 hundredths units squared. And when we add these up, let's just put little decimals there as, as um, placeholders. Um, we're going to have 0.13 and 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 7 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. So we're going to have 104 and 13 hundredths units squared. So 104.13 units squared. There you have it. Remember the three steps are first, we want to decompose our polygon into its essential or simple, simpler shapes. Then we need to find the areas of those shapes. And once we have the area of the shapes, we total those areas. And that's all. I hope you, this was very informative and helpful. Thank you.